Welcome to this brief tutorial video on assembling and using an ILS Total Focus with an iPod Touch. Let's begin with a review of the individual components. We have the iPod, the amplifier, iPod to amp cable, bone conduction headphones, and chargers for both the amplifier and iPod. The integration kit includes the balance board, bean bags, racquetball, hanging ball, headband, and playbook. Before using your system, you should fully charge it. Plug the black amp charger into a surge protector and then plug it into the power jack labeled 5V DC on the back of the amp. A green light will come on to show that it is charging. When the amp is fully charged, the green light will turn off. Plug the white iPod cable into the green charging cube plug it into a surge protector, and then insert it into the bottom of the iPod. The iPod has an on-screen icon indicating its current charge level. Let's take a look at the amplifier. Looking at the front panel on the left is the air conduction, or AC volume knob, which is also the on-off control. When you turn the knob, the blue light will come on. The air conduction volume controls the sound coming through the headphone ear cups. On the right is the bone conduction, or BC volume knob, which controls the volume of the bone conductor built into the top of the headphones. Let's connect the headphones. Take the headphone cable and run it through the grommet on your waist pack. The headphone cable is designed to screw down securely to the amplifier. Line up the four pins on the connector with the four holes in the cable. Plug the cable firmly into the four pin connector and then turn the silver collar clockwise until it is snug. Next, we'll connect the iPod to the amplifier. The cable plugs into the headphone jack on the iPod, goes around the headphone cable, and then plugs into the amplifier jack labeled iPod. The system is now connected and you're ready to play music. Turn on the iPod by holding the button on the top right. If the iPod has been completely powered down, this may take 10 to 15 seconds. Slide your finger to the right and unlock it with the password ILS1 or 4571. Use the volume control on the left side of the iPod to turn the volume all the way up. The iPod volume should be left at maximum because you'll use the amplifier to control the volume that you hear through the headphones. Now we'll test that our headphones are working properly. First, let's check the air conduction turn on the amplifier, and set the volume to 0.5. Take note that your headphones are labeled left and right, then put them on. On the iPod, press the music icon. Select headphone test, then air conduction test. Select left ear test, and music will begin playing in the left ear only. You may need to adjust the AC volume to hear it depending on your level of sensitivity. Once you have confirmed that the left ear is working, press the back arrow in the upper left hand side of the screen. Then use the right ear test to confirm that the right ear is working properly. To test the bone conductor, turn your air conduction volume as low as it will go without turning the amplifier off. Turn your bone conductor volume clockwise to one. Go back to the headphone test playlist Select Bone Conduction Test, and then select the BC Test Track. Hold the headband close to your ear to hear the music through the bone conductor. You may also pinch the bone conductor between your fingers. You should be able to feel it vibrating slightly. You have now confirmed that the headphones are fully functioning. To get to your ILS programming, select the Music icon, and then Focus Programs. Select the appropriate program, the appropriate session, and select the first track to begin the session. Press the button on the top right to lock the screen and prevent any selections from being changed accidentally. Your air conduction volume should be set to a level that is comfortable and allows the listener to still hear someone speaking. Your volume level will vary according to your hearing sensitivity, so when beginning a session, start with the AC volume at 0.5 and adjust it from there. Set the bone conduction level as outlined by your supervising practitioner. You are now ready to begin your session. Insert the iPod and amplifier into the waste pack and zip it up.
Your battery life will vary depending on use, but averages six to eight hours. You can charge the batteries at any time. You do not need to let them drain all the way down. Do not plug your iPod into your computer as you risk deleting your iOS programs. Thank you for choosing iOS.